Look where we are. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ronwin. Today, Caitlin and I are back at Epcot for round two of Festival of the Arts. We're gonna try and hit all of the things that we missed. We're gonna see the Broadway shows tonight. I am very excited. It's very sunny, it's a little chilly. Not as cold as last time though, thankfully. Goofy and Pluto are out and about. It's gonna be a good evening. Crop top. Hi! <laughs> How are you? You doing good? Yeah? I know, it's chilly. The sun is unforgiving today. Um, the first thing though that we are gonna go and do is the paint by number mural because we missed that last time because by the time we got around to that side it was too late because it does end at five. I don't know if that's every day. I think it is because I want to say it's in the passport. Um, but we're gonna do that first. It's like 4.30 right now so we still have time. Hello. Yes. Yep. All right, so it'll be 10 squares of whatever number's on the lid and Perfect. it's permanent. So if it gets on closed, it's now a part of it. Perfect, thank you. We got our paints. What color did we get? We have yellow and, and yellow. yellow. <laughs> this is a orangey yellow and yours is a like. You want to trade? Yellow. Sure. Seven's my lucky number. Seven and three. Yay! We're gonna get mine so we can paint our little numbers. What you doing, Bron? Just painting. So I got seven, but there's not any sevens over here, and Caitlin got ten, so we're just sharing. Bron's gonna just gonna do twenty tens and stuff. Because there's seven. Yeah. So we're doing ten. Sounds great. All right, Kate. Where are you picking? Oh, good spot. I thought you said oh because it was no. What? No, you're doing good. Should I do this? Seven, eight. No, I did those. You can do those four, and then it'll be ten. You're so good at this, Picasso. So it's getting there. It's getting there, but this is what it's gonna look like at the end. It's the land. Very cool. And he said he's like, this time of day, you're gonna get seven or ten because there's obviously so much yellow on oh, this. Yeah. A screw fell out of my camera. <laughs> it's not going well. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Cool. Oh, what's this? Drawing on inspiration, celebrating 50 years of magic. Haven't seen it. Also with a mouse, an experiment, and a big break. That's cool. Kaboom! Roar to life. See what a little wishing can do? But it takes people to make a dream a reality. That's the one. That's me. That's cool. With like all the different rides. Small World, Carousel, Carousel Progress, Progress, Caballeros, Country, Country Bears, Haunted Mansion, The Yeti, Pirates, Red. That's so cool. Oh, even Slinky Dog. Oh yeah, and Tink. <gasps> Remy, you need a picture with that? Yeah, you do. Gotta get a pic, gotta get a pic. I want you to do like you did before, then you were so excited. When you pointed to it and, yeah. Whoa. Mushroom. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Figgy, Figgy, yeah. Now do you know the Figgy, Figgy, Figgy? Can't you see? Sometimes you wear what? it to hypnotize me. Never mind. No, I have not. What is that from? I sang it the last time we were here. And several people commented and was like, I understood your notorious B.I.G. reference. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't know that that's what I saw people saying the that reference, but I didn't know what the reference was. The song hypnotized by notorious B.I.G., but it's biggie, 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 can't you see? Oh! Biggie, biggie, biggie. Got it. You, you are so clever. What can I say? Um, we're headed towards the tower shops because, listen, I heard that one of them has a wand to print and I really need it. Also, if you watched my last vlog, Caitlin wanted to get me the bucket hat for Bronwyn Day and they didn't have it, so we're gonna check at Epcot and see if they have it. We'll see. But on our way, we're gonna look at some of the chalk art because it is so freaking cool. Figgy, figgy, figgy. Figgy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes you wear it to just hypnotize me. Hypnotize me. <laughs> look at Nick and Judy. How does somebody just like pick up some chalk and be like, let me create this real quick? Seriously. Or that. Aurora. Those are by the same people. Incredible. Seriously. National Geographic. Go off. So cool. All right. I found the marble section. Do they have the Wanda print? It's not looking promising. This one's really cool though. A black little one. Oh, 
that's a cool one. That's not what it was, though. That is so sad. That is very sad. God. No, you have to look through it's them. like a collage. Okay, we're gonna look around a little bit. Sad. They don't have it. And I can't find. I thought I had seen it on Twitter, but I looked through my like Twitter favorites. Ooh, and I didn't see it. But I know some of y'all sent it to me on Instagram, but I cannot be digging through the DMs. I don't remember <laughs> when it was. And I don't want to dig through all my DMs just to try and find a picture of it. But they don't have it, which is sad. But also, it's not the end of the world. Um, but we're going to head into... That was at Disney Traders. They have all the Marvel stuff. We're going to head into Port of Entry um, to see if they have the bucket hat. I'm going to say probably not. But, like, you never know. You never know. Slim pickings for the vault collection. And it doesn't look like... They have it. I don't see any of that design, like any of that apparel. Dang, and they're like cleared out of festival merch too. That's crazy. What is it? A magnet? Be a dazzled. Okay. It's a magnet. I, mean, I didn't see that last time. Yeah, me neither. It's kind of fun. First booth we are headed to is Poppy. We're headed the Canada way around because last time we went Mexico and then we're too full by the time we got to this side So starting on this side this time. All right from Pop Eats. We got the grilled cheese and tomato soup This is just the regular grilled cheese. Remember last year when we got this they were out of these little like Canisters. Yeah, so I'm excited they have it. It makes it so much cuter. All right, which piece do you want? I don't care. You pick. You can have the bigger one All right, I want to do a little dip It's hard to dip it. There we go Cheers. Mm. That's good. It's hot. The one that she gave us was fresh, which always helps. I would probably give that five out of five. Mm. 4.75 out of five figment popcorn buckets is how we're rating everything for this festival. And it lost the 0.25 because I don't love tomato soup. Like I don't really want to just like as I'm sitting here eating it. I don't want to just like eat it with a spoon. I want to dip it. And the ratio of grilled cheese to the soup. Tricky. I wish I had more grilled cheese. Yeah. The taste of it, I would give a five out of five. Yeah, but it taste was really is good. Really good. I just also wish we had more sandwich. But, but I'm really not good. mad at it. It was very good. It's very good. And it was really hot, which I feel like with a grilled cheese, like it has to be hot or that thing's gonna be straight up crusty. Yeah, it will. Crusty, rubbery. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go run and get our next food. You wanna hold the table? Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Be right back. Yeah. All right, I ran across the way <laughs> to the deconstructed dish and that got the odd. deconstructed key lime pie. Well, it's a deconstructed key lime pie. I know, but it looks like they just squeezed like rubber yeah. out of it. It's a little weird, but I'm very excited for this because I've always wanted to get something from the deconstructed dish booth, and it's always stuff that I don't eat. Like they have a BLT, they have a French onion soup, and now. Sorry. Kate is over here it's, touching everything. It's, it looks so bizarre. Yeah. Um, but I've never been able to get anything because even their desserts have been weird in the past. But I think this one is new. And if it's not, I don't know why I haven't gotten it before. But I'm excited. Here's your spoon. Also, I think I need to knock another point one off of the grilled cheese and tomato soup because I burned my mouth on the soup and it is really hurting now. So but that's, that's where we're at. That's user error. No, Disney gave it to me too hot. Mm. Okay, whatever. I don't know how to... I like want to kind of get it all, but like... Can we get some of this for you? Yeah. There we go. We both All have right. really good bites. Cheers. Fountains. Something's not right. <laughs> Let me try them individually now. And we've only had two drinks. For Phil, we did not drink. Okay. <laughs> Something is not quite right. Mmm, I like that. The texture of this weirds me out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's... So, there's like a little fake lime. That's the best part. The texture of this is like... Very bizarre. Rubbery. I it, told you. Rubber. It, it tastes like it looks. The texture of it. Can you put the plate down? Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you. And then I also don't love... Very crumbly. Yeah, it's like a spice cake though. 
It's not really like graham cracker. Yeah. Maybe it is. It tastes like spice cake though. Very so good. what would you give it out of five? Five pigment popcorn buckets. Um, I'm gonna say a three out of five. It doesn't taste bad. It's a lot of weird textures. Yeah, you're big on textures. Yeah. The little lime mousse thing is the best. How many figment popcorn buckets for you? I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. Why the extra 0.5? The novelty of it is cool. It's a cool idea. Yeah. yeah. And none of it's bad. Some people came and said hello. I don't think you told me why you gave it. <laughs> yeah, the novelty of it. Oh, yeah. I just think it's cool. It's a cool idea. This is the best part. Yeah. This like rubber yellow. It's like, like I live. Yeah, you can pick it up. I don't want to eat that. Yeah, it's like an eraser. It's slime. I could, that's the stuff that I made with borax and glue. <laughs> yeah. And the flavor of that's a little off. I also forgot to mention, um, we're finishing the walk of colorful cuisine or whatever it's called today. You okay? <coughs> choking. Don't mind me, just choking. Um, but we're finishing the walk today. <laughs> You know Caitlin choked when she starts sneezing. You okay? <coughs> yep. <coughs> We're good. Um, this is part of the wonderful walk of <coughs> colorful cuisine or something like that. Uh -uh. Um, and we're finishing that today, and this is uh, this is part of it. You really struggled to get that out. Yeah, y'all get the idea. We only have one more thing we have to get. Um, and there's a uh, empanada. No. There's a like beet thing from Canada that technically is the fifth one, but we're just gonna get the empanada again because it was delicious. Yeah, so last time we were here, we were looking for all of the little characters and I Googled it to see like if we missed any and we actually missed quite a few because um, some countries have more than one, which I didn't know. So here is Coda from Brother Bear in Canada. He's so cute with this little fish. We're in France. We are gonna get something to eat in France, but not right now. Um, we are, no. I'm like so jumbled today and I don't know, I don't know. Caitlin has a call that she has to make at 5.30 and it is currently 5.19 for, for work, yeah. And there is a Disney on Broadway concert at 5.30. And so I'm not just sitting around staring at Caitlin on the phone. I think I'm gonna go to the concert at 5.30 and then if Caitlin, I obviously care more about Broadway than Caitlin does, but if you want to go later, I'll see it again. I'll go to the 6.45 show together, but I'm at least going to go to the 5.30 show. Okay. And I'm very excited. Tonight is Ashley Brown and Josh Strickland. I specifically wanted to come this day for the two of them. Ashley Brown is the original Mary Poppins on Broadway, and Josh Strickland is the original Tarzan on Broadway. I'm going to go like over in this area. Okay. Caitlin is leaving. Um, Tarzan is literally my favorite Disney movie. It's my, not, I well, I don't know if it's my favorite movie, but it is my favorite soundtrack. I like the Frozen, Encanto, everything. Tarzan is where it's at. Um, so I really wanted to see him. Also, who doesn't freaking love Mary Poppins. So I'm excited to see Ashley Brown too. So I am headed that way in Morocco right now. See if we can get a decent seat. Broadway stars and musicians performing favorite songs from Disney Broadway musicals. We invite you to take your seats now as the Please welcome the stars of Disney on Broadway's Mary Poppins and Tarzan, Ashley Brown and Josh Strickland. Hello! Woo! Oh my god, her shoes are up. We're trying to express what the sounds bring me quite absurd. Not to brag, but this song is literally why I know how to spell super congratulatory kicks about Just You will need to find a way to say precisely what you mean. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Josh, will you come hold my microphone and make yourself somewhat useful? <laughs> Six years, five years running, and I'm still a microphone. <laughs> <Stand>. <laughs>
I walked up to the American <laughs> Pavilion and I hear Let It Go and I was like, I thought Bronwyn told me it was Mary Poppins and Tarzan. It was. They must have seen you in the audience and said, we no. got to sing Let It Go. They sang, I mean, y'all saw it. The only things they sang from Mary Poppins and Tarzan was Super Califragilistic Expialidocious opened the show. And then Josh sang Strangers Like Me, Avi. Uh, yeah. And then together they sang um, You'll Be In My Heart. Aww. Also a classic. It was so good. So good. Can't wait so to watch good. the video. And they it. were so fun together. They had, which I think is so cute, the shirt that he had on was like the same fabric as her headband so that oh, they could stop. like match. Stop. It was so cute for the 50s. Should we just like jump in this line real quick? Yeah. I'm. I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. I'm really having a good time. You're like on cloud nine. Oh, right I really now. am. It was just so fun and I loved it. I just love Broadway so much. Oh, they did a whole you. Frozen like medley. They sang all the songs. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? all the songs. And I was nervous that they weren't just gonna let it go. And I was like, if they're not revving up to that, like, what's the point? Wow. But they were. And they did it. That was so good. I love them for you. Me too. Um, I'm chilly. Me too. It's getting cold. The sun is setting. Uh, we're in Japan now. I think we're just going to go ahead and grab the chicken that we want because one up. The line's not that long. The last time we were here, the line was all the way to Oh my god, America. it was like literally to America. So. And so when we came last time, we went Mexico first. So like by the time we got to America, we were like full. full. Um, so today we started in Canada and we're headed around this way. So I feel like after this, we'll just go back to like France and Canto booth on the I'm just I'm sorry, I just like you're like shaking. I'm just you good. Loved it so much. Hi, how you doing? Look how pretty it is right now. The sun is setting, the glow on Spaceship Earth, you can't even see because there's a tree. Can you see it now? I think there's still a tree, but it looks really nice. <laughs> I'm still on cloud nine. We got our food from Japan. We got the chicken something, it's literally chicken nuggets, and I'm very excited for it. Um, it is probably cold right now because we ran into some people. Did you already take a video of this? Yes, okay. I did. I'm gonna start taking it off. Then. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna like pick it up and eat one, I think. Okay. Which one looks the least weak? Uh, maybe this, this one. one. Yeah. This one looks good. Oh, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Definitely wouldn't call that warm. We're good. I think it would be even better if it was still warm. Yeah. But it's good. It's like dark meat. I don't love dark meat. The it sauce is really good though. But it's a chicken nugget. It's dark meat. Yeah. I don't love dark meat. I love but dark meat. It's good. I like the yum yum sauce is like a little spicy. I don't think I'm gonna eat any of these vegetables. Me neither. I feel like they'd probably do that to make it like artsy, add a little color. It's shredded cabbage. Shredded carrots. carrots. I don't know what seaweed. that is. Don't know what that I don't is. think that's seaweed. What do we think this is? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then one singular asparagus. I'm done. You can't see the chicken. Yeah, or... once I saw it, I can't really get it anywhere. I would probably Just give wrong things. Yeah. I'll probably give it 3.75 out of 5. What? Like the popcorn buckets. Why but only 3.75? Because it's dark meat. I don't love dark meat. And it was $8.50. That's a little expensive for three chicken nuggets. And we're not eating any of the vegetables. So like that part was kind of a waste. Yeah. It was good. I, I don't know if I would get it again, but like. It's expensive. Because it's expensive. Flavor wise, I would get it again. But like, if you need a little protein, solid option. How many? I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Yeah. Cause, Cause okay. you made all valid. Like at first I was like 4.75 out of five. But you made some valid. But plates. like, this is a full plate still and we're not gonna eat any of that. So and like, we paid 8.50. Yeah, okay, I'll eat a pair. And this is, this is not the fault of the food at all, but it was cold. That was yeah. our own fault. But it happens. We're gonna go to a like, Conte food. And get an empanada and I am so excited. And that will complete our wonderful walk of color. Wonderful walk of color, that's what it's called. What the heck is it called? Yeah. Wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. I was like, I think it's a little bit longer than wonderful walk of color. We are headed into the Wonderground Gallery just to look at some art. All of the little Disney prints that I have in my house are from the Wonderground Gallery. They have a shop in Disney Springs in Marketplace Co-op. I have to yell. 
Remy's not on it. They have the bow bun, but they don't have Remy. Look at Luca. Okay, Luca's on here. Coco's on here. You like Soul. Soul's on here. Okay, yeah, but all these movies came out after Ratatouille. A short, You're mad. A short, is that even Pixar? Yes. You look short. <laughs> you are pissed. Cars? Like what? Why are you so mad? <laughs> Jeez. I know, oh, I'm sorry. That one's kind of cool. But the camp is full. Say it. Say what? It's cherry time. <laughs> oh no, come on. There you go. It's getting dark, but Caitlin is headed to try and find a table, and I am getting in line for the Encanto booth so we can get another empanada. Very excited. <laughs> Look at the empanada in all of her glory. Relax. <laughs> You think you are so funny. <laughs> Do not. Um, I think it looks smaller than last time. Caitlin does not. I don't. Whatever. Do you know how you measure a horse? No. How? Hands. Why? I don't know. I learned it on trivia crap. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. This is supposed to be a knife. Yeah, I was like, why did you get a spoon? <sighs> there are bees. Uh, Got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers. I'm not sure how to keep this. Put it in your mouth and chew. Mm. Oh, I forgot how much I love a potato. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you like the edge. I do. But not the edge of brownies. No, the brownie edges are the best part. No, they're not. Brownie edges. No, brownie corners are the best part. That's the worst part. Five out of five. There's no popcorn bucket. 4.5 out of 5. Why? I wish you had more potato. Yeah, I don't think it really had any. Less mustard. <laughs> it's not mustard. I need water. See, Caitlin just said she's gonna buy some popcorn. We did not bring the popcorn bucket today. We should have. I want popcorn. Okay, but like, we literally just bought an $18 popcorn bucket. We didn't. <laughs> I did. So I could buy the popcorn today. Okay, but I would like, okay, whatever. Are you mad that I'm offering to buy us popcorn? I just really want popcorn. More for me? Unless it was two twenty-five. <laughs> I feel very hungry. You feel what? Hungry. So do I, that's why I'm gonna buy us popcorn. Yeah, but we have other things at the festival. All right, all right, stop yelling. Okay. Um, we're headed to France. I think we're gonna get the brie and a bread bowl. I've never had brie before, and I don't really like cheese, so. You tell us some of the words that you found online that describe what brie tastes like. It is unlike anything else. Buttery, buttery, nutty, nutty fruity, wood, some. Like, I don't know what this thing's gonna taste Salty, like. Salty, I think. Yeah, it's brie. literally brie and a bread bowl though, so like. It's just like melted cheese in a bread bowl. Can you go? Yeah, but like, what did I have recently that had cheese and it was like so disgusting? It's this. Cuisine Francaise. Cuisine Francaise. That's. Oh, we need to go to the Remy Land too so we can see the little chalk. Because there's one of. And Lumiere. There's Lumiere. We can look at him if you want. I'll care more about seeing Remy. Alright, we came to France. We got the. Brie in a bread bowl. Like I said, never had brie. Don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we have it now, so dig in. What are your thoughts? It tastes like the thing from Germany. It's really good. Like I keep thinking it's like the cheese soup, so I was like about to take a bite, but you're right, it's just like a bite of cheese. A spoonful of cheese. I feel like you have thoughts in your head. What are they? I'm trying to eat it thinking about all the things Google said it was. Fruity, nutty, grassy, buttery. I get nut and grass. I don't get fruit. How many popcorn buckets out of five? Maybe like four out of five? You know what? I just took a bite of it, and it honestly, to me, tastes like mashed potatoes. Bread is kind of like sandy. Sammy? Sandy. Sandy. I would get it again, but it's not my favorite. Better than, I have the 
cheese beignet during food and wine, and that was disgusting. <laughs> so this is much better than that, at least. We came into the first pavilion, God, you can't even see them, but that is Remy right there running up the pipe, and then Emil is up there with some cheese. Cuties! And then Lumiere is around the corner, but I don't know if we're really going to see him. I know what Lumiere looks like. Yeah. I will say though that there's a Bruni that we missed in the fireplace in Norway, which I like kind of want to see, but also like I don't want to walk all the way to Norway well, just to like look at the, Bruni. We can go the Mexico way real quick when we go back to the But like, do we need to? Well, how bad do you want to see Bruni? I mean, like, not that bad. Okay. Like, if he was on the way, then I would want to see him, but like, he's not on the way. I'll just Google a picture of Bruni for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Final stop in the World Showcase was Deco Delights. Um, we cashed in because we got five stamps in our passport and we got this cookie little artist palette. It's very cute. I think it's just like a shortbread cookie with like royal icing. And then you also get this, which is a mixed berry smoothie. The cup is cute. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. It's a little chilly out for a smoothie. Yeah, but it's pretty I good. I wish it was like hot chocolate. Yeah, and then we also got two more desserts. About half. Um, this is the orange mousse. It also has lemon cake and raspberry meringues. I think this looks so good and it's really pretty. And then this is the dolce chocolate mousse with chocolate something and dark chocolate truffle. Chocolate crema. This is big. Delish. So we're gonna dig in. All of this together was $9.75. Wow. I know. And then the cookie and the smoothie were free. But like well, both we bought of these together. Made. That's not bad. No. Compared to some of the other things. Yeah. Which one do you want to try first? Orange. Ooh. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's like a shell. Oh, the interesting. Oh, okay, that really fell apart right yep. away. I want some cake too, though. This is lemon cake. I like can't get anything. Yeah, here. that went really poorly. Okay, cheers. It doesn't taste at all like what I expected it to. Like it's not citrusy at all. This is. This is got like an orange flavor, but no citrusy. Well, it's orange mousse. We mean an orange flavor, but no citrus. Like I. <laughs> you see my confusion. Yeah, like I, it's like the tiniest aftertaste of orange. Yeah, but there's no tartness, like citrusy. Mm -hmm. which this I is good. In white chocolate. Mmm, meringues are good. Right, I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. I like that one better. This one just has more flavor. Yeah, it's really good. The orange mousse, probably like two out of five. Big uh, popper bucket. Three out of five. The lemon cake was good and the little meringues were good, but like the rest of it, they didn't really taste like orange, but like it, they didn't really taste like anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Three. chocolate one, I said like four out of five. It was At nine o'clock okay, tonight, good. we invite you. Four out of five. 4.5 out, out of 5. For both? No, for this. 4.5 out of 5 for chocolate. Chocolate. 3 out of 5 for orange. Same this. reasons. 4 out of 5. Yeah? It's fresh, light. It's just too cold. It would be 5 out of 5 if I wasn't so cold. Because the flavor of it's really good. It's yeah. really sweet. But also light. Yeah. And refreshing. Mm -hmm. That's good. On a but, hot day, yeah. it would be divine. Too cold. Yeah. Tonight. And then this, I don't think we're going to eat this right now. But I know I really like these kind of cookies. I don't like royal icing. You don't icing. like, yeah, you don't like royal icing. I love royal icing. So she'll smash the cookie later. I will. It's probably going to break in my bag, but you know what? It's cute. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. Um, I think that's just about everything we're going to eat from the festival. We are going to pop into Creations just to kind of get a look around. Ron also, needs a prize. <laughs> um, we also might get a pretzel, might get some popcorn. I still feel hungry because all we've really eaten is like sweets. And like a chicken nugget. And empanada. And an empanada. But like we split everything. So like you eat like three bites. <laughs> True. So we feel hungry. Also, I didn't eat lunch. So if you like that, let's carry on. Let's see if we can find anything I can't live without in the creation shop. I've seen people talking about this. They have a new harmonious spirit jersey. No. This stuff 
is new too. They have a bunch of new stuff. These little pants are cute. That's kind of fun. Little joggers? No, they're not joggers. They're just pants. You need that Maybe. What is this? OMG, Kate. Do I need this? That is so cute. Why? I think that is adorable. Okay, well Kate found herself a prize. Stay tuned to 551. It's a little like cell phone holder. Oh, sorry. It's a little cell phone holder and then you can also like put pens and stuff in it. But I feel like you could also put like your business cards or something in it. That's what I'm gonna yeah. use it for when I go back into the office. Yeah, I think that's My cute. Cards in it. I think it's cute. I do too. I used to be a big pop socket gal and I'm not anymore, but I think that's so cute. It's like all of Rhinestone Castle. I haven't seen that yet. I'm getting this shirt because I think it's really cute and I really like that. I also toyed with getting this sweatshirt because this is really cute and I keep seeing everybody online that has it. But I feel like. But we this, live in Florida. Yeah, I live in Florida. We're going out of town soon and I feel like by the time we get back, it's going to be too hot for sweatshirts. So, like, is it a waste of money? Oh, that's not my thing. I feel like it's a waste of money. But this, I think it's so cute. It doesn't look like I got it off of Amazon, maybe, but I think it's cute. But you got it at Disney World. Hmm. So cute. I'm gonna wear it on Valentine's Day. There you go. Listen, I don't like Guardian of the Galaxy, so I don't remember what that thing is called, but there it is. It's coming along. It's exciting. Rock the Galaxy. But not you, Star Lord. You suck. Chris Pratt. And Big Rocket. Big and Big Groot is scary. I forgot to film it, but we watched the Rainbow Connection thing that they do on the Spaceship Earth for the festival. It was very cute. Uh, maybe I'll post a little pic or a little video. Right now that I took my story. phone. It's on your Instagram story? It'll probably be on mine shortly. I took a video of it. Um, it was super cute. I think it's fun that they do that. <laughs> we are headed out of Epcot. No popcorn, no pretzel. Yeah, no popcorn, no what pretzel. A bummer. Yeah, they were cleaning the pretzel cart. It had already closed, and then the popcorn cart was like literally on the other side of the like the store, and we went out the other door. And we were like, okay, well, if there's one between now and the exit, it's meant to be, and we'll go get it. No one, there was no one on the way out. Yeah, oh, well. but it's okay. We have food at home. We go eat. Maybe. That's such a responsible adult thing to say. <sighs> you know, I just feel like that sometimes. Yeah. The battery is flashing, Kate. Rapid fire. Three best parts of the day. Go. Um, the, ooh, the Brie, the Rainbow Connection, and painting on the paint by number. Good job. Um, my three were getting to see Ashley and Josh perform and doing the paint by number and getting my new shirt. Nice. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Goodbye. Bye. And see you next year. That's all the arts. Yeah, this is our sad. last visit of the year. Sad. Bye farts. Bye farts. See ya for flag. <laughs> Bye. Bye.